Okay, uh, this is part five uh, to the uh, full mask respirator fresh air system. And what I wanted to show you was when I put when I put that barb in, it actually came down about another half an inch. And what it was doing was it was hitting the edge of this, so it wasn't getting full airflow over this. It was just hitting the screens right here. So what I had to do is I had to I ground that down with a grinding stone in my drill. I ground off about ooh, three eighths of an inch, half an inch. Uh, that way it would suck from the whole thing. And uh, this respirator comes from the factory with these pads. So if I don't want to hook up the full air system, I'm just doing some light sanding. I can put the original pads back on again, so that's kind of handy. Or I can use the whole air system, and if I'm doing a lot of fiberglass standing, so that's why I'm building this thing. And people ask me all the time, "What parts do I need?" Okay, now all these parts here: hose, water separator, air filter and all the little couplings and that stuff are from Harbor Freight. Then this stuff over here, the hose, these four barb fittings, you got to have Teflon tape for everything, and that's 10 foot of hose, uh, 3 eighths uh, hose, and uh, good old JB weld, quick weld. Okay, and what you got is this is the air filter okay that comes from the factory with these two fittings and those are three eighths down to a quarter and on my compressor I already had this on there for quick coupling and I had this coupling right here that connects into it and this is a quarter so it's screwed right into the, the adapter and then this filter right here which is your oil water separator filter screwed into that and then my hose screws into that. So that's pretty simple how it works. Now, the uh, the hose I used is a uh, lightweight flexible PVC air hose from Harbor Freight, and the number is uh, can't read these. My I know my camera doesn't do real well close up. It's six one nine seven six, and the price on that was. Sixteen ninety nine. Then the central pneumatic air filter. Shit, I can't read these damn numbers. The number on this one is six eight two three zero, and that's this filter here. Then this small filter here is this one, central pneumatics. 68246 is the number on it. And it was like uh, $599. And the, uh, I take it back, the air filter was $999. The hose was $1699. And then uh, the rest of these fittings were anywhere from $1.99 to $0.99. Cents. I've got an extra fitting that I bought because I thought I'd need it because the quick connect that I put on that end over there already had the barb sticking out of it so I didn't have to put the uh, that fitting on so uh, eliminated that fitting but that's what you need and then from Home Depot you have to get these uh, hose barbs well let's go back to uh, Central Pneumatics I got a brass T quarter inch and that number is 68197 and that's the T that is down there and then this quarter inch coupling I got uh, this one here is 68198 and then this quarter to quarter female coupling is 68200 and then a quarter male to a quarter inch male coupling, which I didn't use, but you might have to, is uh, 
68198. Like I said, my compressor already had this fitting on. So if you go down to Harbor Freight, I think they're six, seven, eight dollars. It comes with this. You got to be a quarter inch, and then this is the uh, male connector that connects to it. It comes as one little package, and you'll need two of those because there's one on that end, and there's one on this end. So get two of them, and then those plastic barbs. I got four of them. Now these came from Home Depot, and the number on that is A dash two nine five. And that's a 3 8 inch ID by 1 quarter inch inside. And those are the ones that I used. Two, two for the mask and two down there. Those are the uh, elbow barbs. You need four of those. And then this is 10 feet of, 10, bleh, 10 feet of clear hose. And uh, that was vinyl tubing and it was four dollars and fifty seven cents and the nylon barbs for four of them at a dollar ninety nine were uh, seven dollars and ninety six cents for a total of thirteen dollars and sixty three cents at Home Depot and I spent forty two dollars and eighty six cents at Harbor Freight then I had to go back to Home Depot and buy this tech respirator respirator kit uh, by 3M because remember the round ones I was going to use but the uh, inside here was too big so I ended up having to buy these ones here and it comes two to a package there's another filter pad that goes on top of that but I didn't put it in uh, for the simple fact that I kind of thought it would restrict the air a little bit so I just used a normal pad which is plenty on this and uh, so it comes like that and then the mask I use which I got off of eBay is a 3M 6800 and that cost me $45 those normally run about $140 $150 and they come with two of the orange or pink pads like that that's what it comes standard with and that's the full mask which you need if you're going to build this system and that's a real good one they sell them on eBay from from China I think uh, I, I don't know how good they are they look kind of similar uh, they're around like forty dollars maybe fifty bucks so if you can't find the 3M as cheap as I do which you probably won't because it's eh, not not real often uh, but if you do find one uh, you can buy one on things so I mean I got a I got a total of everything in this thing probably 140 150 dollars and that builds it and like I said I could have bought the complete setup like this with connectors and everything on eBay for I think around 80 85 90 dollars but I didn't like it it looked kind of cheapo and the other thing is anything goes wrong with any of this stuff these filters go bad they start leaking I can take them back to Harbor Freight and they'll give me brand spanking new ones if you buy this stuff from China and overseas yeah they're most of the sellers are actually pretty good about uh, returning stuff and things like that but it takes two to three weeks sometimes to get a return. You got to send the piece in. You get the piece back. Pain in the ass. I can go down to Harbor Freight in about 15 minutes and trade all this shit in. So, like I said, that's all the stuff that you need. So, just scrolling over everything. And like I said, this little compressor, it does okay. But I'm going to get my big compressor out and try it. And I might make another video showing you how well that one works. And then I use the the drill with the fitting on it to uh, grind those tips down in there so that's about it you need a couple ties uh, the plastic ties um, that go on to here right here uh, and that's it and then the clip I had is just an old it's a telephone clip from a uh, uh, cell phone it clips onto your belt and I just cut the front of it out and used some ties and tied it on so that way it clipped it in the back like you saw in the last video and then I got 50 feet of hose it's kind of kinked up right now that way I can put the compressor outside of my boat and it'll suck fresh air and I don't have to worry about getting dust and all that crap and I'm telling you what when you tighten that mask up ooh, it's airtight you get no air in it whatsoever except for the fresh air that's coming in it of course unless you use these pads right here if you use those pads and of course it's okay so uh, that's it for this video I just wanted to explain to everybody because people ask me all the time 
where do you get all your parts and this and that so I decided to uh, tell everybody and just one little note uh, if you don't like my videos and you're gonna put a dislike on it you know step up be a man grow some fucking balls put a comment down why you don't like it you know that way I can address I can address your issue with my video or if I did something wrong I can adjust it or make it better uh, but you know if you're gonna if you're gonna put a dislike a check mark on it like I said step up grow some fucking balls and tell me why so that's it for this video say goodnight Mel goodnight Mel